Next, let's look at the MIDI effects. They are far and beyond my favorite thing in Logic 10. Every channel strip now has a MIDI effects plugin section. And these are the effects. Let's start our tour with a look at the arpeggiator. This is it. And because it's so complex, I've created a whole course just about the arpeggiator and all the amazing things that you can do with it. Okay, let's load up another one. And the way you do that is that when you roll the mouse or pointer over, you get this little bright yellow line. That means that's where you can click and load up another effect. And in this case, it's the chord trigger, which lets you put a whole complex chord under every note. Or you can actually remap the whole keyboard by just using the chord trigger. Very powerful. Okay, let's find another one. Let's go to the modifier. This is very much like the transformer is in the environment, but much, much easier. This lets you take any input event like a velocity and reassign it to like a mod wheel. Velocities become mod wheels. How weird is that? Okay, another one, the modulator. This is an extra LFO and envelope generator if you just happen to need one. And you always need an extra LFO and envelope generator. Okay, this is followed by a uh, note repeater. This is a MIDI delay line, right? Up, 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 up. Instead of doing audio delays, you can do MIDI delays and you can set up some very cool complex stuff. Uh, my personal favorite is the randomizer. You can take any event type and randomize it. I'm in heaven with this thing. Okay, let's load up another. Uh, we're gonna skip the scripter for now because it's pretty complex, but we're gonna move down to the transposer. Now the transposer doesn't just transpose, it allows you to quantize your note pitches to keys and scales. I mean, that is so cool. No more playing out of tune, or at the very least playing wrong notes. These MIDI effects are really, really powerful. And there's a couple of more I wanna show you. Now let's see, every channel strip can hold eight of these suckers. And we have seven here, so there's room for one more. There's the little green line, and yes, the velocity processor. Think of this as a compressor for MIDI velocities. Very cool. Now there's no way to get another one in here unless I remove one. So that's what I'll do. I'll get rid of this guy, and we're gonna put in Scripter. Now Scripter is very cool because if you know a little JavaScript, you can write your own MIDI effects. It also acts as a monitor. It's picking up all of the data coming from the modulator here. And that's what you see running right through the scripter thing. So I'll turn off the uh, modulator. And you can see that with all of these plugins and scripter, there's pretty much nothing that you cannot do MIDI wise in Logic 10. Now, every plugin in Logic 10 has an on off switch, right? That's what this little button does here on the left. It also allows you to select by clicking on those up and down arrows from the menu, or you could remove the plugins. This section right here in the middle with the controls just removes the, the picture of the plugin, so to speak, from the main area. The plugin is still active, but it just doesn't take up any space. And these controls work the same for MIDI plugins as they do for audio plugins. You can also grab them and move them wherever you want without using a control key. It's all simple grab and drag type of stuff now, which is really, really great. Now, if you want to copy a plugin, you do have to hold down the option key, which gives you this little green plus, and you just copy and drag it down. Now, our channel strip is full up, right? There's eight of them in there. But if I want to move one, I can grab it and drop it on top of another one, and it will slide everything down. Had it not been a full channel strip, I would see a little green line between the plugins, which would allow me to insert it between two plugins. I've created a course just on the arpeggiator because it is the mothership. In the meantime, check out the next tutorial because it will blow your mind.